Hey, this is Jay, and welcome to the introduction to the Lua language. Uh, first of all, what is Lua? It's a programming language. It's known for speed and ease of use, and it's commonly used in game development, either as the actual programming language is used, or uh, in a lot of cases, it's used in even like 3D games as a scripting language uh, that they use to they they use other other languages to create the the core code the the foundation, the infrastructure, and then they use Lua to actually make things move around and actually handle uh, a lot of the actual in-game type stuff. Uh, it's used in Corona SDK, of course. It's also used in Moai SDK. Uh, it's the language in Gideros, Cobalt Touch, and a whole, whole host of other uh, 2D and 3D game development tools. Lua is a case-sensitive language. That means that foo with a lowercase f and foo with an uppercase f are completely different. And while you can use variables, and I'll cover that in a second, while you can use these uh, upper and lowercase type things, uh, it's a good idea not to do that. And as we get into more of the coding, you'll you'll see that, that there are certain conventions that people typically follow. And while you can create your own and make up your own or switch it on the fly, usually there's a good reason uh, to do something one way and to continue with that. It's just going to make your, your code easier to read later. Uh, the maintain maintainability is going to be higher. And Lua is also a dynamically typed language, which means you don't need to declare a variable. If you're used to programming in some, some other languages, uh, you know that before you can use a variable called foo, you have to declare it uh, as, as a certain type of uh, a certain type of variable and with Lua you don't have to do that. Uh, the, the types that are available, the types of variables, and if, if you're completely new to programming and this is it's like whizzing over your head and you're starting to feel frantic, don't because we're going to go into more of this um, in a few minutes. This is just a real quick intro here. Uh, nil is a type and it just means nothing. So the first time you uh, create a variable it equals nothing. Uh, it can also equal boolean which is true or false. Um, a variable can be a number, it can be a string, it can be a function, and it can be a table. And those uh, last three things that we're going to cover here, uh, the last two especially, each get their own video. So what are we going to cover next? We're going to be covering variables in the very next video because variables are kind of the foundation of uh, any kind of programming. And then we're going to go into functions. And it's like, what is a function? A function is code that is run at a later time. We're going to cover tables. Tables are awesome. If you've ever done, if you've done any programming before, tables are a lot like arrays. They're also like dictionaries. They're um, they're kind of like both of those things combined and twisted. Uh, tables are really uh, really powerful feature in Lua. And we'll get into constr control structures and loops. Um, if while for loops, things like that, and after after that, you will you'll know enough in this crash course to to dive into the game development videos that follow that with Corona SDK. But if you do want to learn more about Lua, because the more you know about the foundational language, the easier your programming will be, and the more options you'll have. Um, there's a there's a URL there at uh, lua-users.org that you can go to, and there's a lot of different. Uh, Lua based tutorials on that page there. 